after promising us that Outlander Season 7 Part 2 would come out sometime in 2024, Stars finally remembered its promise and gave us some news about the second part of a season we watched almost a year ago. I mean, I remember what happened at the end because it was iconic to see Jamie and Claire finally returning to Scotland after all those years, but the other details were also blurry to me. I had to do a rewatch of the last episode just to be able to make this video. That's how much time passed. Anyway, in this video, I will talk about everything Stars released about the new episodes, which includes the release date and first look images that show a few clues about the storyline. I may also lash out in anger because that release date is a joke. Let's start, shall we? Season 7 Part 1 I didn't rewatch that last episode for no reason. I have to use that knowledge now. Before I show you the first look images, I need to give you some context and remind you what happened at the end of part 1 in case there are some of you who don't remember what happened. Well, basically, Jamie and Claire were a part of the Revolutionary War. In fact, the second battle of Saratoga takes place in episode 8 where Claire and Jamie also meet no one other than Benedict Arnold who's like the sweetest guy ever. Your servant now. One detail you should know is that Jamie's cousin Simon Fraser is on the British side as well as Jamie's son William. He's supposed to kill them as a soldier but he purposefully misses when ordered to kill Simon and accidentally shoots out William's hat. Anyway, someone else kills Simon Fraser. The battle is over and a brutally wounded Simon calls Jamie and Claire to the British fort as he wants to see his cousin before he dies. Later, a British general asks Jamie to take Simon's body to Scotland so as not to seem like they are leaving him behind in America. Jamie accepts and that's how they hop on that ship to return to their homeland. But this was the story that took place in the 18th century. What about Roger and Brie in the 20th? Luckily, they only had short scenes in episode 8 as the story mostly focused on Jamie and Claire. Roger and Brie were sure that Rob Cameron took their son Jamie and traveled to the past to get to the French gold Jamie hid near Fraser's Ridge. So Roger wanted to go through the stones as well to get to his son. Buck, Roger's accidental time traveler ancestor, also wanted to accompany him. So both traveled through the stones as Brie stayed behind with her daughter Mandy. We didn't see when they travel to, which will be important later. First look. Stars released five images that give us some insight into part two. The first picture is Jamie and Claire in the same outfit we had seen them wearing at the end of part one, which means this is right after they land in Scotland. In the first teaser that was released after part one ended, Simon Fraser's funeral could be seen, so I'm guessing this is from the funeral as well. They will be done with that as soon as they arrive in Scotland. There are a few people in the background, but they don't seem like characters we already know, so it must be people who knew Simon Fraser. Another picture again shows Jamie and Claire, this time with young Ian. Oh, I forgot to mention, young Ian joined them too on their journey to Scotland. Look how happy they are enjoying the fact that they returned home after going through so much trouble and heartbreak. As their clothes are the same, this is also right after they get off the ship. The third picture released by Stars shows us Lord John Gray, finally. He has been absent since season 7's second episode when he and Jamie kinda decided they shouldn't see each other anymore since they are on opposing sides of the war. They also thought they shouldn't tell William about his true parentage. Now, in a new photo, John Gray is alone in a deep thinking mode. I know what happens mostly in part 2, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Let's just say we will see a lot of Lord John Gray. Let's look at another picture which really doesn't reveal anything, thank you stars. It just shows Richard Rankin getting his makeup done. Roger is in his 18th century clothes, the ones we saw him wearing at the end of part 1. So this must be right after his time travel and I think I see one of the stones there. A final picture is of Brie hugging young Mandy. Thankfully her clothes are different which means this is not taken immediately after she says goodbye to Roger and Buck. And it also looks like she wounded her fingers as that bandage was not there in part 1. Does this happen after an altercation with the person I'm thinking about? Okay, huge spoilers. Rob Cameron is not really in the past. He's hiding Jimmy in the tunnel. 
I will find them, Bray. I'll bring them home. He knowingly made it seem like Jamie was in the past so that he would get rid of Roger. Once Roger is gone, Rob will be at Bree's door. That's how Bree will get that bandage on her hand. No more details. Release date. Stars wants all of us to cancel our subscriptions, so they announced Outlander would return in November 2024. Yes, November. They said sometime in 2024, now it's November. They are keeping their promise, but in such an annoying way. Don't forget, this season was supposed to be one long season after they gave us a short season 6 due to the pandemic. But now, there will be over a year in between two parts. You might as well just call it season 8 and the final one season 9 because that's what it feels like. I'm really disappointed in stars for doing this to the loyal fans who have been watching this show from the start. It looks like they don't even care about the show anymore since it's about to end. I think season 8 could be with us in 2026 if what they have been doing with season 7 is taken as a precedent. Many fans agree with me, I saw all the comments on social media, people are furious and they are cancelling their star subscription, as they should. I'm only waiting for Mary and George to come out on April 5, I'm gone after that. If you want to know what will happen in part 2 without reading the books, I got your back, this video should help you. Other than that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to keep up with Outlander news. See you soon.